a huge 2014 uh, ruling that could have huge implications for control of the Senate in Kansas of all places. Hard to believe that Kansas, mm -hmm. a red state, could decide things this midterm election year, but we've had a drama play out there where let's look at the, here's three candidates. Senator Pat Roberts is your Republican incumbent. Uh, Chad Taylor is in the middle there. He was the Democratic candidate. Greg Orman is the independent. Now, Chad Taylor said after the Democratic primary, never mind, I don't want to run anymore. And then there was a dispute about whether he has to stay on the ballot. The Kansas Supreme Court now has said he can come off the ballot despite this deadline. So you have a one-on-one -on -one race now with Pat Roberts and the independent candidate. Democrats are saying support the independent. Uh, the Roberts campaign, um, I call this whining, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. And this, this is the campaign manager says, in a bow to Senator Claire McCaskill and Harry Reid, liberal activist Supreme Court justices have decided that if you voted in the Democrat primary on August 5th, your vote does not matter, your voice does not matter, and you have no say in who should be on the ballot on election day. <laughs> uh, how about saying we think Pat Roberts is a better candidate than Greg Gorman and fighting this one on the substance and the issues instead of whining about the court? I think that statement <laughs> probably tells you a lot. Uh, they're obviously very, the Republicans are very worried about this but, race. Um, he's had a lot of issues in terms of not spending enough time at home. He's not run a good campaign. He's not been energetic on the campaign trail. And so obviously this is a big blow to the campaign. And I think that you know, the, the GOP was hoping to really focus on these five states that they believe are on the knife's right. edge, and now they've got to worry about a problem in Kansas that, you know, nobody wanted to deal with. So, not, not a good day for it's them. Six so. weeks out, I mean, this race in particular, you have a veteran guy whose residency has been questioned, right. uh, who hasn't uh, said or done most of the right things. Uh, can you imagine a 2014 midterm election where Kansas decides who controls the Senate? No, and this is also <laughs> sort of like the Freddy Krueger race, right? We thought right. this was settled when the primary was over. This right. is now not settled. Uh, right. This has suddenly cropped up. And for Republicans, having an expanded map at this point this way is not a positive. For Democrats, right. who are much more on the edge, uh, given they are trying to retain control, this is uh, good news.